Good morning and welcome to another installment of First Grade Music and I'm Mr. Burdick and uh, this is our second episode. Um, yesterday we looked at the rhythms Ta and Titi with respect to our previously known song called Five Little Sausages. We're going to continue that today except we're going to uh, feature a song that we haven't done in a little while called Snail Snail. We're going to follow the same procedure. Let's review the song um, and then figure out what the rhythms are. We already know that our rhythms are going to be ta, which is our single vertical line, and tt, which are the two vertical lines with the roof on top, right? So let's review the song first um, before we figure out the rhythm. So see if you remember. It goes like this. Snail, 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 snail goes around and round and round. Snail, 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 snail goes around and round and round. And of course, in class, we would just repeat this and we uh, circled the snail and then we unraveled it and stuff like that. A little hard to do now, but let's uh, sing it again and this time take your hand and gently tap the rhythm as you sing the song. So ready? Here we go. Snail, 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 snail goes around and round and round. Snail, 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 snail goes around and round and round. So pretty basic, right? So let's go through and figure out what the uh, rhythms are for this song. And I encourage you to maybe take a plain piece of white paper and draw four parts on them. If you've got red crayon, red colored pencil, red marker, whatever you have available to you. And then see if you can't figure out the rhythm. Uh, pause the video, figure out the rhythm. Just draw it underneath the heartbeats. You have the words up here. See if you can figure it out before we do it together. So go ahead and pause the video, get your paper, get some writing, drawing supplies, and see if you can't figure it out before me. So here we go. Let's take our first phrase. You remember a phrase is a musical sentence. Our first phrase has the same word four times. So again, count the number of sounds. We're in heartbeat one, snail, one sound. So I'm gonna take ta, draw it up on top. Hopefully this is what you figured out already. Well, it's the same word four times, which means the rhythm's just gonna repeat four times. So I'm gonna draw a second top for heartbeat two, third top for heartbeat three, and finally, a fourth one for heartbeat four. Obviously, our second phrase, a lot more complicated, so we're gonna have to look at it again. As I follow heartbeat down, it looks like I have two sounds here, goes and ah, uh, so obviously we're gonna use the rhythm teet teet for this one. There's teet teet. Heartbeat two comes down, round and, looks like it's TT again. Heartbeat three, oh, round and, same thing, we just did that. So we're gonna use the same rhythm again, TT. And then finally, heartbeat four followed down, round. Well, that's just one sound. So I don't use TT, I'm just gonna use the TA. Hopefully, if you took the time to try to figure it out on your own, you came to the same answer. So let's go ahead and speak the rhythm together. Ready? Here we go. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. See if you can do it. I'm just going to point at it and you clap and say it. Here we go. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. Another way you can make this a little bit more interesting is, is uh, find things in your house that you can tap together for your rhythms. Two pencils, uh, if you happen to own any sort of musical instruments like a, a small drum, a tambourine, uh, rhythm sticks, whatever you want to use to make it more interesting. So this was Snail Snail. We figured out the rhythms using Ta and Titi and you can practice this, replay the video, practice this on your own and see if you can't good at, get good at these patterns. So look forward to our next episode together.